I'm Kendall Paradise, your host, and today's hot topic is going to be best places in Atlanta to take your kids when they're behaving. Welcome to The Hottest Show, where we're turning gossip, news, lifestyle, and entertainment, bringing you the peachy subject of why this city is the greatest peach of them all. And today, to help me out, because I couldn't do it by myself, are my co-stars and partners in crime, starting with the lovely and beautiful... Hey guys, what's up? It's Lorena Guillen. And trying to keep up with this one is difficult. This case, I'm Porter. Rocking with them, rolling. I'm always a bust dance move for y'all. You know it. <laughs> so today's subject is really fun because even though I'm not a kid, I will still check out all of these places. I'm a big kid at heart, so um, I still feel like if you're an adult, you'll still enjoy these places as well. Like the big kid at heart. Exactly. Yeah. I don't want to grow up. So Lorena, tell me, what is one of your favorite places to go to for kids? Well, thank you for asking me. I absolutely love, actually, the Atlanta City Pass. Ooh. It's something that's brand new. Not a lot of people know about it, but it's a really great way to be able to go to all the biggest, biggest attractions in Atlanta and not pay admission for every single place. Mm, the Atlanta absolutely. City Pass includes admission for the Georgia Aquarium, the Zoo Atlanta, World of Coca-Cola, Fern Bay Museum of Natural History, the College Football Hall of Fame, and many, wow. many more. That's just five. Jeez. Yeah, it's like nine different places. <laughs> this allows you to visit all those places over the course of nine consecutive days. You only play, pay about $71 for an adult pass and like $61 for a child pass. Oh, that's good. And it's a really great way to take your kids on a vacation while not going out of the state. So I definitely recommend right. that. Right. And it's a lot cheaper, of course. Most of those um, admissions to get into the places are well over that price. So yeah, it is a really good still. So people that aren't from Atlanta, can they come and get this? Pass? Yes, it is available to people that are coming from out of the state. Just remember, just remember that you can use it only over nine consecutive days. Oh, so okay. just keep that in mind. So it's like you can do two, do two, two events in one day, and then hey, ma, I want to go back to the aquarium and go back. So it's Tucker them out. Yes. Oh, that's super dope. Yeah, that's you don't have dope. to pay admission to all those other places again. Yeah. So you just pay admission once and go to all of them. Okay. Okay. So if your kids are complaining, Mom, we never do anything, we're going to do something nine consecutive days. There you go. <laughs> well, we might do it twice, so there you go. get ready. With that well, price. Me, I have kids. I have two beautiful daughters, Kay and Parker. Aww. And I love to bring back the outdoorsy type of thing because I think that gener their generation is missing that. When I was growing up, I went outside a lot. That play, was our I social media. I didn't play. Outside. I didn't play video games as much, but I think just going outside to an outdoor park is always a go-to for your kids. So if you guys have an outdoor park by your by your complex or by Buckhead or even Stone Mountain Park, you guys can go out there. Uh, what other parks am I missing, you guys? I know it's the a ring fountain. Ring Ooh, fountain. that's that's a, that's another good thing. Fountain ring, the ring fountain. I'm saying it wrong, but. That is another good place to bring your kids. And it's a lot of water, so it's like a timer, right? It shoots out from the uh, ground. Okay. And we all loved, we all, we've all done this in the summertime, hooked up the you know parent sprinkler to the water hose and ran through it. But this is a whole other level. Your kids are really going to enjoy it. Several just um, several holes in the ground. Water, water sprouts shoots out. or yep. something? Like a cyclone. It does. Um, what do they call it? A dance? The water dances? And you can dance water sprouts! It. Yes. So you don't want to miss that. That's really fun. And also, another place that I really love is, um, I think when you think of puppetry, you think of sock puppets. Mm -hmm. But I actually didn't really think about this in my own head. We've grown up on Sesame Street and The Muppets, no, the movie The Dinosaurs. So we are very much uh, have puppets incorporated into our everyday lives without realizing it. And the art of puppetry is interesting because it's the telling a story through objects. So um, they have three different programs that you can check out. And even if you're not from Atlanta, you can get a virtual tour. They partner with Distance Learning, which I think is something that sets them apart because they actually have the, their center available to everybody worldwide and it's in classrooms all over the world, which I think is Whoa. fantastic to educate because, again, like Kason said, we're so glued to electronics, whether it be, yes. you know, um, Alexa or, you know, Siri. Yeah. Everything is, is becoming to be technology, so it's a great place to just get some stimulation for your mind. Yeah, and your well, brain. Amazing. 
you can't forget the Georgia Aquarium. I know we talked about this last episode, you guys, but the Georgia Aquarium is a must-go for your kids, especially if they love the water. My kids love the water, so anything dealing with the aquarium is a definitely go-to for your kids, man. And it's, it's not that expensive either. And to sneak away from marine life, the Atlanta Zoo has a really cool history and story. Um, I didn't know how much the progression has, uh, how far it's come since the beginning, but they started out with just a few animals that actually they received through um, a businessman who had purchased them. A traveling show went bankrupt and he purchased the animals in an auction and donated mm -hmm. them to the city of Atlanta. And then That's pretty cool. a philanthropist 40 years later had a wild collection of elephants tigers and bears oh my <laughs> and uh, um, of course his neighbors were not a huge fan of the forays off of the property the smells and the sounds so um, he proposed to the city of Atlanta and to start their first ever campaign to raise enough money to house all of the Briar Cliff or Briar estate animals um, so that is how we accumulated over 1400 which I think is pretty fast that's amazing and going back to um, Kaysan's uh, talk about the aquarium, mm -hmm. if your kids are actually feeling like actually getting in the water, I'm proud to announce that the Great Wolf Lodge, yes. oh, I thought you were saying something to me, yeah, that the Great Wolf Lodge has just opened on the outskirts of LaGrange, Georgia. So if you you still feel like staying in the state, you can definitely go over there. It's an indoor water park mm. and resort. It has over 500 guest suites and over 500,000 square feet of space. So imagine taking your kids to an indoor water park. You don't have to worry about them getting burned or anything yes. like that. You can stay there and make it a full vacation. Yeah. Absolutely, and moms, it's a place where you can go grab a glass of wine, stay there for the night, not have to worry, and the kids and mom can both have fun and enjoy themselves. I love the Great Wolf Lodge. It's, it's definitely a, it's a, uh, a home away from home. But <laughs> well, you guys have to subscribe all all social media the Swipe way you guys right. if you guys subscribe that's how you get more of us and who doesn't want more of this <laughs> thank you guys so much it's been a pleasure being your host today and here with Kaysan Porter and Lorena Guillen we'll see you guys next time that's right Arriba Thursday.